Yeah, guy, it's incredible to me. It really is when it comes to the subject of Julius Randle, because on my shows, I, I, I get flooded with calls from fans who just want to throw this guy overboard because of what happened in the playoffs and what because of what happened in the playoffs two years ago against the Atlanta Hawks. And, and I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me. You know, maybe they taught this lesson in school the day that I was absent, guys. But 25 and 10 in this league doesn't grow on trees. Like, you can't go to the store and find 25 and 10 on the discount rack. There's one of a handful of guys in the NBA. You know, you're talking Giannis. You're talking Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis. Oh, and Julius Randle. He's the other 25 and 10 guy. And you want to part with that if you're a Knicks fan because he didn't maybe perform to the level of his regular season exploits in the playoffs? Guys, I, I mean, he's all NBA two out of the last three years and all-star two out of the last three years. Knicks fans, it's almost like for a second they forget that they, or they're thinking they were maybe the San Antonio Spurs for the last 20 years and did nothing but win. I mean, the Knicks have not had players like this. This was a guy, remember, a few years ago in the summer of 2019 when the Knicks were the laughing stock of the league because all the big money free agents didn't even want to take a meeting with them. KD Kyrie went to Brooklyn, right? LeBron goes to L.A. You had Kawhi go to L.A. Meantime, the Knicks pivoted, signed a bunch of one-year guys, but then here's Randall, signs for a couple of years, and he blossoms into an all-star, all-NBA player for you. And the Knicks fans want to get rid of this. One last thing on this, and this is what I always retort with. Guys, who was the MVP of the league this past year? The guy in Philadelphia, right? Did he play as well in the playoffs as he did during his MVP regular season? The answer is no. It's such a small sample size. I don't know why the fans want to pivot from somebody like that. It's mind-boggling to me. No, yeah, 25 and 10 doesn't grow on trees. And CP, yeah, I want to come to you on this because, of course, yeah, he's an all-star and we see what Julius Randle can do. But when it matters most in the postseason, you see a little bit of a drop off, of course, that's going to raise some eyebrows to the fans. So, CP, I want to hear from you on your thoughts on this. Yeah, I think that's the big question mark. You know, 25 and 10, it's been remarkable. He's had uh, two out of his, you know, the last four or five years has been solid with, with the Knicks. But the question is, can he come up and deliver in a big spot? And that's yet to be determined. The Hawks series, he underperformed. Now, this year, if you want to blame the ankle injury, sure, you can put something on the ankle injury. He came up against two well, the best big man defenders in the league and Bam Adebayo and, and Evan Mobley in, in those series. But the big question is, can he deliver for you in a big spot? Jalen Brunson certainly has showed that over the last two years in pressure moments in the playoffs against gritty defenses. Julius Randle has to show that. But I'm with Dan in that if you are going to trade him at this stage in the game where this team is trying to get to, they're trying to keep going up. They're not going to pull it back. And so if you're going to do that, you need – equal or better value in any trade yeah. that uh, that Julius Randle is going to be in. Anything less just doesn't make sense. I get the OB Hive. They, they see his numbers as a starter and his efficiency. I don't think they're comparable players. I don't think you just plug OB Toppin in there and, and he gives you an all-star level performance, whether it's, you know, offensively, defensively, defensively or on the boards. He can certainly help, but I don't think you, you replace that production that Randall gives you just by swapping in top and then, uh, you know, a couple other pieces off of the bench. 